welcome to the blockchain buyer channel i am excited today because i've got a lot of different messages of people trying to figure out what is the difference between cryptocurrency and blockchain well i'm here to tell you today they're not the same i am going to get into it with this article right here it's on payments.com and it was recently posted on march 18th let's get into it so it says beyond crypto getting back to the basics of blockchain it says here the news is almost surreal these days cryptocurrencies have tripled in value in just one year and nfts of childish pixelated images are selling for practically unbelievable sums while someone buying a simplistic image of the dogecoin mascot for $69,000 <laughs> or a pixelated image of sunglasses for over $26,000 is certainly attention grabbing. Stories like these can easily overshadow the backbone on which all transactions are based. Blockchain. In fact, with all the attention Bitcoin gets in the media, it's easy to see why some people think that cryptocurrency and blockchain are synonymous, meaning they're the same. But the applications for blockchain go far beyond su supporting digital currencies, as some major global initiatives are starting to prove. And very, very important that you know, cryptocurrency and blockchain are not the same. Although it might seem like that, that's why we want to get to the basics right here. So then it says, Despite the hoopla surrounding blockchain-based investments, the goal of the technology is quite simple, to provide a secure record of transactions. Blockchains are basically super secure ledgers that store encrypted sets of letters and numbers known as hashes in a chain of other transactions. The transactions are validated by all other computers involved with the chain, are timestamped, and are virtually incorruptible due to the fact that the hashes from one block are contained in the previous block, which is linked to the block before it, and it goes on and so on and so on. Those characteristics certainly make blockchain ideal for financial transactions, and banks could employ the system to bring greater speed, security, and transparency to their operations but banks have been slow to take up blockchain. Instead, the technology is emerging in other somewhat surprising industries. Beyond banking, one of the most timely uses of blockchain tech is its use in fighting fake beer flu vaccines. Both South Africa and China saw the proliferation of fake vaccine rings in their countries earlier this year. Asia-based healthcare provider Zulik Pharma along with consulting firm Accenture, has taken on the fight against bad vaccines using a blockchain-based solution called EasyVax. The platform, which was developed with Microsoft technology, allows governments and healthcare organizations to track vaccine movements throughout the entire supply chain. At the core of the system is Zulig Pharma's Easy Tracker solution, which is already being deployed in Hong Kong, Thailand, and the Philippines. Easy Tracker pegs all vaccine movements to a blockchain so that at any point, someone can scan a barcode on a vial to verify its movement history and authenticity. Authenticity, I mean. Another use of blockchain, securing the supply chain, has been developed by IBM, whose food trust a system tracing food from a farm to supermarket has been adopted by major merchants such as Walmart, Dole, and Nestle. Very, very important. And that is actually something that uh, VeChain also does. It's very good in the supply chain side of things. So next it says, another thing that blockchain is good for is smarter contracts. Blockchain technology can also be employed in the execution of what are known as smart contracts, basically if-then statements stored on a blockchain that execute when certain conditions are met by both parties involved in the transaction. MediaChain, 
which was acquired by Spotify in 2017, uses this aspect of blockchain technology to help artists attach themselves to their music for royalty purposes. Real estate firm Proppy is using smart contracts in an attempt to automate the home buying process. And Burst IQ, which has also developed its own beer flu vaccine tra tracking solution, uses the tech to enable the transfer of medical data between patients and healthcare professionals. So right here, when I talk about smarter contracts, I also wanna bring it and break it down to make it even more basic. A smart contract is basically like a vending machine. It's if this, then that. If you put the money in the vending machine, then you get the soda or the chips or the snacks. And the same thing is with smart contracts, but a lot more math put into it. So let's move on to the next one. Money on the chain. So when will blockchain take its place at the banking table? That's still to be seen as the potential of technology is truly just beginning to unfold. Although if ever there was a segment that could benefit from it, it's going to be finance guys. It's finance. Allowing self-executing contracts and secure blockchain processing could go a long way toward enabling real-time payments, quicker settlements, and instant loan and credit approvals. Could you imagine an instant credit approval, an instant loan approval? Awesome. Its decentralized nature can also go a long way toward simplifying cross-border payments and building a greater level of trust in these transactions. IBM already offers its own off-the-shelf blockchain solution for enabling global payments. And CB Insights reports that 90% of members of the European Payments Council believe blockchain technology will fundamentally change the industry by 2025. In fact, from where the industry sits at this point, it seems like either big banks will get on board with embracing the blockchain or they'll get replaced by other payment solutions that use it to their advantage. So what we got from this is cryptocurrency is on the blockchain, but cryptocurrency is not the blockchain. Blockchain is just beginning. This market is nascent, meaning this is a baby market. Just imagine, this is a baby market right now. So we're just figuring out all of the things that we can do with blockchain. And it's so exciting because it's not only about cryptocurrency, it's about a lot of things and it's also growing in even more things and more use cases use cases in blockchain are still developing and it's going to be big whether you invest in cryptocurrency or not you still will be impacted by the power of blockchain it's that profound and it's going to change lives whether people believe in cryptocurrency or not i buy into the idea that blockchain is good. I hope you will too. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. Everyone, please like, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.